your big Hollywood movies with their big explosions and their big sweeping love stories, they all have trailers. Something that gives you a bit of information before you go and see the film. Well, a WordPress excerpt does exactly that. It's going to give you a summary or a sneak peek of an article before you click to go and see the full thing. So excerpts can be quite important in order to keep everything organized and looking great on your site. But how do we create them? Well, WordPress themes can actually create them for you. So that will select what part of the text to show and it will create an excerpt for you. Another method is by using this tag and you're gonna put that into your post and then everything above that becomes your excerpt. It's like drawing a line in the sand. I'm James, this is WP Beginner and do get subscribed to the channel because we're doing a whole series of videos that are gonna give you all the tools and information you need to get going on WordPress. And finally, you can manually create excerpts by entering a summary of your article in the excerpt field on the post edit screen. But hold on, you might not see this field straight away. To enable the excerpt field, simply click on the screen options button on the top right corner of the post edit screen and then tick the excerpt option. So if you have a content rich website, maybe magazine or blog or something like that, excerpts can be absolutely crucial. Like I said earlier, it's gonna keep everything nice and organized and looking fantastic for your viewers and they don't have to scroll through hundreds of words in order to get to the next article. They can just quickly scroll through and find what they're looking for. So we've got three different types of excerpts. We've got manual, we've got automatic, and what I'm gonna call our line in the sand way of generating excerpts. Now, you could just go for one of those or you could maybe test out different ways of using excerpts. What's gonna get the most clicks for you? So what we would recommend is checking out a tool like Monster Insights. It's a great analytics breakdown tool that's gonna to allow you to see what's working and what's not working on your website. If you want some more information on that, then do click right here.